In the last episode, I said we're gonna make a new chestbreaker, and I did just so. I scoured through all of my jewels. In the last episode, I said we're gonna turn an echoing sickle into a chestbreaker, and I really like to make it a reaper because I just like to tear through the POI, and I don't really care about using a little bit of durability on the blocks that you break. I feel like it's much faster to loot chests that way, so you can in turn get more loot for a little bit more durability. So I have turned it into this. It has 108.9 mining speed, over 200% trap disarm, 1.33 reach, which is also good. That's an extra block of reach. It also has 41.5% of item rarity, 28.2% item quantity, and that's pretty much it. It's also soul bound, so we have that, so it don't cost us anything when we die. And as far as the jewels go, these are extremely good jewels that I'm putting on here. All of them are size 10, and all of them have something else on it. There's no jewel that just has one item, like even this one. It has 10 size, 4.7% item rarity, and picking, and that's really amazing. And also, like, for example, this one. Gilded Affinity, Mining Speed, Trap Disarm Chance, and Item Rarity. It's like the perfect jewel for this tool. So I think we're just gonna commit. We're gonna make it. There we go. It has been done, I have committed. And the reason that I put 200% trap disarm is in update 13, the whole negative modifier for trap disarm or clumsy or however it's called, or trapped I think, is changing. And basically it's gonna reduce your trap disarm chance by 50% instead of making more chests trapped. So if you have 100% trap disarm on your tool and you get one of those modifiers, it goes down to 50, and if you get two, it goes down to zero. And with this one, it would still stay at 100%. So this is gonna be a tool that we're also gonna use in custom vaults as well, where you can actually get those negative modifiers. I've also hit level 98 in between episodes, and we have started putting skill points into stone skin. So we're getting knockback resistance, which basically just means that Archon triggers more because we get moved around less. So if mobs come to me, they just die faster, basically. I have started to unspec my hunter ability after every vault. That way I can spec inside of the vault into the thing that is required. For example, if I need to do monoliths, I spec into observer and I just look for monoliths. If I am doing a scav and I need a specific item from gilded chest that is hard to get, I spec into gilded. Or if I found everything but one thing in a scav, I just spec into the thing that I haven't found and I can easily complete that. The other thing, if you have it on spec, it just shows you wooden chests. And this is extremely useful to find ore rooms. Because pretty much every room has at least one wooden chest. And if you pop this and you see wooden chests, you just move on. And if you don't see anything, it's an ore room. The wooden chest thing helped in this vault, where we ran a special vault with a bunch of plentiful on it and the factory void theme. And I mined 2,295 ores. And specifically, we yeah we had 14 times plentiful. We got two furious, one wild, and one chunky, which wasn't that difficult. And we basically mined 63 echo ore in that vault. So that was really, really good, and a whole bunch of other stuff. And I am dreading, once I get to level 100, of uh, fortuning all of these ores. <laughs> but I think I can just use my mining gadget, and that will be uh, a bit quicker. Or maybe we can just unspec a few things and put it into vein miner and just go vein mine an entire thing of ores. I want to start running the Divine Paradox vaults, and I have a few reputation points over here, but I need more. And currently I have this Valara charm that I'm using with 35% Valara affinity, plus I have 30% in each god, so the total Valara is 65%, so that has a high chance of us getting a reputation point. And I can just go hunt for god altars in just a regular old vault and see what happens. That is an altar. Is it a Valara one? It is a Valara one. Lovely. Mine vault ores. That is doable. <laughs> well, this is a mushroom room at the end of the vault. I don't have time to loot this. I would love to loot this for all the burger pieces. Maybe we can come back to it. It's on the main line at the end. So if we get this altar done, we can hopefully... Go to get it, I guess. There's another Valara altar here. Might put some blocks up here in the middle. Just so I know. Oh, crystal caves. This will do. Oh, that's a piglin archer guy. Is he dead? He's dead. Okay. 
There's our favor. I'm actually gonna leave these ores in this room. I might get them again, and I can just come back here. We can just go this way, where we came from, I think. And go get that other altar. Okay. Also, did you see? Mine unique vault ores. There we go. <laughs> That's why you leave rooms. Um, Whatchamacallit, did I get a point? I did get a point. Awesome. We go back to the crystal cave. I've actually played something smart. Uh, I don't know if there's gonna be nine of them. Probably. There's one I see here. Oh, there's another one. Well, there was two, I think. Awesome. I think this could be it in this room. Is that seriously another mushroom room? Really? Really, game? It's teasing me. Okay, this is an ore room. Okay. Okay, we only got what, one or two more, I think, in this ore room. Ore room, lovely. Let's see if we get lucky here. We need five more. That was one. That was two. Oh, well, we need three still. Two minutes and 39 seconds. Not gonna happen, I don't think. A dragon room as well. Two mushroom rooms that I didn't loot. A dragon room. I just want to wait 50... I mean, I can go loot for 55 seconds and then I just have to watch the time. And if we get a super bad curse like fading, that would be really bad. But if we get something that's not really bad, like soulless, for example, I'm totally fine with it. But I gotta make sure that... Uh, at like 20 seconds, I'm kind of safe-ish. Okay, 16 seconds, there's two champs. We'll just toss Storm Arrow down here. We'll go up high. What do we get? Ethereal. Okay, mobs can spawn being immune to any damage. Yeah, I'm heading out. <laughs> Let's head on out uh, and be done with it. Hey, we got an artifact from the crate. I don't know if I showed, but I have this thing down here. I'm trying to get another set of all the artifacts. Just because. I want to just keep going and see if we can get two more Velara points and then get Tenos and Vendar as high as we can. I'm just gonna keep on running bolts and I'll, all I'll show is Valara altars and if we successfully complete them. So uh, let's just go. That is a Valara altar. Hello. Loot ornate chests. Oh, hello ornate POI. Thank you. It's really one ornate chest and okay. Two ornate chests. We got a point. There we go. Lovely. Now it's time to find another altar. Hey, I have another Valara one. Lovely. Kill champions. That is not an easy one to complete. Because I don't know what the rate for getting champions is. But I could get lucky and get a champion down here. I think I should just not break the spawners and maybe I get a champ to spawn. Like, do I just wait here and see if champs spawn? Hey, champion. There we go. Lovely. This was more of a success than I was expecting. We also completed our legendary bounty to find 20 silver scraps, so that is pretty good. Let's add another one. 
course it is. Did I collect enough? I did collect enough, yes. That's why you loot factories. So you don't have to go nether mining. Nice. Kill tank mobs. Not a problem. Oh, we got two trinkets in that vault. I will go ask Math if he wants to roll these, because he still needs to unlock trinkets, and I don't really care that much about any trinket other than phylactery, crystal ball, and the feather that I'm currently using right now, so I'm gonna ask him to roll these for me, so he can get some new ones. He rolled the Stone of Jordan and the Ender Anchor, and uh, I don't need those, so he can keep them. Now that we have five Alara, let's try for Vendor next. And I'm gonna go into a regular vault again with 36% Vendor affinity on this, and then another 30 with that, so 66% total. And hopefully we can get another couple reputation points. Hey, there's a thingy for potions. Speed, Mega Jump, or Cleanse. I'll take speed, I guess. I've not gotten that potion one in very long. <sighs> I found a dungeon with an altar, with an archive thing. Mana regen or cooldown reduction. I'll take the mana regen. I think that's better. Because sometimes I do craft mana regen. And it's best to unlock all the things. I think cooldown reduction might have been better. But that's okay. Well, we'll find more. Of course, the last room that I find. Two minutes left. I find a vendor altar. I'm just gonna finish it. It's fine, we can do it the next round. Around. Oh, dungeon. Hello. Challenging skeleton. I will go there. Oh, you're tanks. Hi, tanks. Oh, you're a baby tank. Champ, you hurt. Okay. Let's see about this dungeon. That's two champs. Bye, champs. We gotta have a potion. And since we have champions abode, that's why there was two champs from that spawn or anything. I mean, or it might have been due to the fact that it's a challenging dungeon. Okay, so there might be another champ down here. There is not. We will taunt you, though. can sit here. Wait, we'll break this. This is not cheesing. This is using game mechanics. <laughs> okay, ooh, we have an archive. Lovely. Okay, our storm arrow's up. Do that. Ooh, you are an archer guy. Bob and weave. Think we're good? Archive says, cooldown reduction on a chest plate, healing cloud, or stun a check, check chance. I will take the cooldown reduction. Hey, an altar though. Kill horde mobs. I will definitely do that. That's super easy. Hey, we got the thing. And we got a point. Is this a mine? This is a mine room. Well, I guess I know what I'm doing for the next 14 minutes. A few moments later. I'm just gonna call it quits here. We got one vendor reputation, and we also got a butt ton of ores right here. We have a whole bunch of ores, even two trinkets, again. I don't know how we keep getting tri- oh, champions. Of course we're getting trinkets, champions. It's like six trinkets in three vaults, that's insane. And math has left, so he can't roll these for me. But I will actually just keep them and not roll them, and we can roll them once somebody logs on. We have also completed our tank bounty and a regular bounty, and we're gonna put on another lost bounty, kill horde mobs. Well, that's gonna be done in one POI. Oh, we got another Omega wand. We got a really good copiously magnet. If this can be cut down to 10. One, oh, that was just one. Okay. Yes, lovely. Okay, cool, that's a really good one. I wanted to make a special gilded crystal, because we haven't run a gilded vault yet, and I made this. It's not unmodifiable yet, so I can even go higher, 
but I don't know that it's worth to go higher. This is already, I believe, 500 extra gilded chests. <laughs> it's mega cursed, but we can remove all of them with a mode of sanctity. And we have eight random negatives. I think that's gonna be fine. I don't know if I want any bonus catalysts. Maybe we can try and add, let's see. Bonus. I have bonus gilded. These add wild stacks though. I mean, I don't really care that much about mobs to be honest. Let's see, let's add one. Still going, two. Still going. <laughs> it's still going. Okay, unmodifiable. Four wild, four bonus gilded, eight random negatives, and 20x gilded, so 500 more gilded chests. So we can add a, a moat to remove the curses. There we go, and that should be super good. <laughs> I have everything ready, I do have my pouches. So I think we're good to go. Our chest plate and pants are gonna break soon, so I think I might just give these a repair. Since this is a high level vault, I will bring Pseudo's doll, because he's gonna get some crystals or some jewels that he might use for this. Also, I don't know that this many backpacks is enough to store all the things that we're gonna get, because we're gonna get a whole ton of jewels, probably. So I'm thinking we might make another big backpack. There's a loot belt, small backpack, and another big backpack. We'll dye this yellow. And hopefully this is enough. That's three full backpacks that we can store of jewels. And this backpack has a tiny bit of space, plus our entire inventory. So hopefully we're good. One trapped. It's a good thing we have extra trap disarm. 20% less mana region. That's going to hurt a little and 40% more mob damage, which is okay, but... It's find the monoliths. I'm gonna click them as I find them, if I do. If I don't, it's fine. Alrighty, let's go. Oh, that's a dungeon with an archive right here. Want everything? Just pop a storm arrow. There we go. Archive. Mana region cooldown reduction. That's the higher tier mana region. I'll take that. Also, why not? We need burgers for people and for myself. Well, this is a crystal cave full of gilded. I'm heading out. I have 16 seconds left. Should be fine. And we have a bajillion jewels to go through now. <laughs> 140,000 XP, 818 chests looted. 746 gilded. They really need to fix this screen. They need to just make it three wide. So it's XP in its own row. Just make the entire thing bigger. But 746 chests, that's really good. And as far as jewels, we have a member inventory. This guy's pretty much full. This guy's pretty much full. Oh, and it did the whole thing again. No, it didn't. This is our actual backpack where we were storing all the things and I just unselected all the memory slots. In the middle of the vault though, this guy was not picking up things that it needed to be picked up and it was doing weird things and now we have all the jewels. So now the tedious thing of selecting all of these and which ones are trash and which ones are not. That is a maximum legendary copiously with 30 size. I'm gonna keep it just because it's really not that great, but that is a great one though. Trap disarm and mining speed, and it could have the potential of being cut to 10. Another legendary copiously with bad size. <laughs> I just can't get these in good size. Well, I think I did get one at some point. I think I have it in here somewhere. Yeah, I have this one, 6.4 with 10 size, and then I have this 7 one with 30 size, and this one with 29 size. And now we can just load back up these settings and toss in some vault stone, and we're back good to go.
I've also totally forgot that I consumed 50 knowledge stars and was planning to unlock the phytogenic insulator because that is what we can do. Plus, we have so much more knowledge that we don't know what to do with it. So I'm thinking I'm going to craft another stack of knowledge cores, which is just going to drop our diamonds. That was 600 vault diamonds, which is fine. And let's make as many as we can of the knowledge stars. Boom, 53. 56. What mods do we still have to unlock? Mechanism is 42. I mean, we have to unlock everything at some point, so might as well get mechanism, right? 42. There we go. And I think with that vault, that is going to have to do it for today's episode. We had a successful Velara and a little bit of Vendor reputation point gains. And in the next episode, I hope to get more. And I might try in between episodes if I'm just chilling with patrons and running vaults to complete some altars so we can get some more points. And hopefully sooner rather than later, we can start building our divine paradox. So with all that said, I want to thank you all so much for watching. I am really hoping that you did enjoy today's episode, and if you did, make sure to smash the like button. You can also subscribe to get notified of when new videos go live. And speaking of subscriptions, I'm just not going to make it a big deal, but we hit 16,000 subscribers, so I want to thank you everybody for subscribing and doing all the things that you do and commenting and being great and amazing. So thank you very much from the bottom of my heart, and I will see you all in the next episode. Have a good one. Bye-bye.